Hey guys, Gus1 here, and today I'm bringing you the best, the most consistent Numeron Subterra deck profile on YouTube. So, this was actually a deck I decided to build because I did pull the majority of the stuff from the Battle Legends box. I have just had to get, I believe it was one more Numeron Mall, two other networks, and two of the callings, and a few extra Subterra bits, and I had this insane deck. <laughs> so with that, let's get into the deck profile itself. This is now kind of more my com more competitive deck. Cyber Dragons, um, I believe is just more of a rogue deck at the moment, but something I still really do enjoy playing. So first of all, you're playing three Subterra Gurus. It's the bread and butter of your deck. What you can do if it is flipped, you get to add one Subterra card from deck to hand. Also a quick effect, um, this is like a normal effect, but if you control another subterra monster, you can quick effect, target uh, one monster on the field, and change that and this monster's uh, position to face down defense. So it's a good way to reset itself so you can use its effects uh, recursively. So I've also got free subterra fiendless, this is your Omni Negate of the deck. And if you have a face up subterra monster, you can. Discard, I believe you first discard, target that monster, or that subterra card, oh, subterra monster it is, <laughs> and negate an effect from your opponent. Super strong Omni Negate. And for the other monsters, I got one Nemesis Archer. Something I have been questioning playing a bit, but I've also found it really strong, especially if you do control another subterra, you can just spin whatever this battles, if it's in face down defense position. You can also add Guru from the destruction of this. So you might may break, but you, you shouldn't. This is like the most consistent and the best deck. So shouldn't break. <laughs> but in those cases that you do break, you can set the sweep for it to be destroyed and add Guru to your hand. Of course, you want to play the best field spell in the game, Free Hidden Cities. This can add a subterra monster from deck to hand when activated. Also, once per turn, you can change a face down defense position sub tower monster you control uh, to face up attack or defense. So, you can obviously use your guru effect with that. And then you can also negate an attack uh, by flipping a face down defense sub tower monster. This field spell does everything besides shuffling the deck. <laughs> um, one card I do have, which you may question, is sub tower cave clash. I kind of like running this myself because I can recur some of the cards such as Subterra Phoenix once they've gone to the graveyard. But this can give you your, your <laughs> Subterra monsters a 500 attack and defense boost if there is a set monster on the field. Um, also, we're, obviously because we're playing the Numeron Pyre, we'll have Zexel. Sometimes there'll be game where, games where you go for free uses of this, this no longer has material. It's a zero zero monster, so you can just flip it face down with Guru, get a nice 500 boost to attack and defense. Uh, and finally, to round off the sub terrors, I've got two of the final battle. It's searchable off Guru. Three really strong effects, being able to change a, a face, once hit sub terror monster to face up attack and defense. Change a face up subterra monster to face down defense. Combine the attack and defense of one subterra monster and make it so that your subterra monster activated effects cannot be negated. Really strong trap. Uh, I really like this this archetype to be honest. Something my friends have been playing for quite a while and something I was grinded up against and I thought, time to build this myself. <laughs> Especially with new ones being uh, so strong as they are. Speaking of Numerons, we got through the Numeron wall. You can discard this card or send it to the graveyard to activate a Numeron network from your deck. Also, it's a battle fader. Uh, so the Numeron network here, you, once this is activated, you can send a normal Numeron spell to the graveyard, um, as long as it meets the activation conditions. And this card, uh, effect becomes that. So you'll send off your Numeron calling to summon out all your gate pieces to go into the Utopic Excel. I'll show you the hand later on with that whole combo. 
Next off for the hand traps, two ash blossoms. There should be three, there it is. Three ash blossoms and joyous springs. This is still perhaps the strongest hand trap in the game right now. And with that, three infinite impermanences. If you haven't got the budget for infinite impermanence, play effect failures. This is mainly to hit stuff like the Crystal and Halky Fibrax combos. Next up, draw engine. We got free pot of extravagance, another very pricey card. Um, if you can't really get this card, I'd recommend playing Desire since you do play a lot of free elves in this deck anyway. And stuff like the Numeron cards, you're probably not going to be using them again, so you're probably safe banishing them as well. Uh, free cold water grows because you just want to ensure that all your plays go off, you don't want to get negated by any monsters. Uh, it can also be very useful uh, in other scenarios also. One of the terraforming to search up the hidden city because that's the only way to get to your hand otherwise if you don't hard draw it. And finally to round off the main deck, uh, we got three solemn judgments to hopefully negate any impermanence. Uh, our opponent throws out our Zexal and we also playing three strikes just to get rid of any monster that would be special summoned. Anyway, it's a pretty good, strong, uh, strong main deck, I think. So going off into the extra deck, something I do want to mention about the extra deck, it's not optimal. Um, there are some changes I do want to make to this, but this is more of a, a guide for you guys, uh, for your own subterrain Numeron decks. So I've got two topic Zexal. I really do want to bump this up to three. This is your no card. <laughs> Um, this does everything for you. Also playing two of the Infinitrack Fortress Mega Clops. This is your other boss monster, something I'd still play two of in this deck regardless. And its abilities and effects can come up. You can get rid of any problematic cards your opponent may have and summon out, say, for example, number one uh, from your graveyard. And then you can overlay into our next card in the deck profile the C number one C Numeron Chaos Gate. Let me just move some of these cards around, I think. Doesn't matter where they go, because this extra deck is always shuffled anyway. So these are your quote unquote, quote unquote boss monsters for this deck. I may even cut out the C one, but I do like the interaction it has with the Infinitrack Fortress Mega Clops. That being summon number one of the Mega Clops, Xyz overlay number one into C1. Pretty cool combo. <laughs> um, something I would absolutely keep the same is the number one. Obviously, if I'm keeping the C1, I want to keep the number one so I can go into that whole combo all the time consistently. Uh, we've got two number twos, three number threes. This is something I'd probably bump down to two. And then finally, two number fours for the extra deck. Finally going off into the side, I don't believe this is fully optimized quite yet, um, but this is sort of like an example of what you can play in your own side. So I play one of the Dino Wrestler Pankratops. It is an inherent sun, so you can still beat over Zexal, at least if you're in the mirror. And I'm also playing three Gamma Seals, in case we are made to go second and your Numeronexes will easily OTK over this monster and get rid of problematic cards also. Uh, three of the Artifact Lands here, something I may even take out, but it's a really good card for stopping our opponent from banishing. Sorry about that, left my phone unmuted. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really good card for stopping our opponent from banishing if Thunder Dragons become meta ever again. I highly doubt that though. But I do have a Thunder Dragon Shadow deck I'm really looking forward to showcasing to you guys. So keep uh, an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe to see that video, especially. Um, going on with the side deck, I've got three Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries for the mirror match to banish our opponent's deck so once they start making their own plays. And also another hand trap, two Ghost Ogres. This is good for getting rid of other problematic cards, say like Network, for example. Uh, Ghost Ogre, I think, is a bit slept on. I think it's going to see more play, however, in this meta. So definitely have this in your side or main. 
And then finally to round off the side deck, three, there can only be ones. Such a strong card. I was maining this for some time, but it can also kind of hurt you uh, if you were trying to do the whole Numeron combo. So yeah, just be careful if you are maining that card. And with that, that is my Numeron Guru deck for the competitive format. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, profile and found it useful. If you did, please remember to leave this video a like as it does help my channel as well. As well as subscribing to see some of my other spicy deck profiles. As I said, I do have a Thunder Dragon Shadal deck profile that I do want to showcase. Uh, but I've also got some other deck profiles like Dino, Dino Barrier Statue and some Orcs uh, that I want to show you guys. So leave a comment on what you would like to see first. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.